had a little bit of a long day, so I am doing this from my bed with my phone on a stand that's gonna wobble all over the place, so bear with me. I still got footage though, and I'm just gonna talk over it as I show it to you. This is what I ate in a day today. Remember, I had gastric sleeve surgery, so this is a lot less food than a quote normal person would eat. And no matter how much I say don't do what I do, I'm still the one choosing to put this out here, so I feel like I have a responsibility to do a good job. That said, I didn't really change anything for this video. I'm just going to be honest and share what I ate, any struggles I had, etc. All right, so I'll start with the morning. So I wasn't in the mood to eat anything. I just had coffee in the morning. I usually will drink my coffee and then eat something. I didn't eat something for quite a while. I didn't eat anything until I think it was around 1230, which I don't normally do, but it just happened to be what the, where the day took me. Um, I had a pupusa. I found these at Costco. I had never had one before that was store-bought like this. Uh, I have made them before or had them out, but it was my first time that I found them like this. And it's pretty good. It's a basic one with just beans and cheese, and it was pretty good. I think it was 11 grams of protein, so if you know after bariatric surgery, your goal is to hit 80 to 100 a day, at least for me, so I was still trying to keep that in mind even though I didn't eat that first meal of the day. After I finally eat something is when I take my supplements. I take a multivitamin formulated for bariatric surgery patients as well as a B12. So after that I was really just trying to muster up some strength to work out but I decided not to today just because if I'm not feeling good already I don't want to overdo it and then feel worse tomorrow so I decided I was just going to take a break today and take it easy. I still wasn't really in the mood to eat anything, although I knew I should. So what I did was I mixed up a protein shake. The reason I'm using the blender is because I made the mistake of leaving a protein shake from two days ago in it um, that I didn't finish and kind of forgot about it, so I never washed it. If you know, it leaves behind the most disgusting smell no matter how much you wash it. Um, I think I had to try like vinegar or baking soda or something. I'm going to look at what people say online but i used this little blender here instead and on camera here i mixed up one i put it in this nice little glass just for because it looks nice but when i turned off the camera i mixed up another one because i wanted to do a double dose so it's 50 grams of protein and i just put it into a regular bigger glass it was just protein powder with almond milk and i drank it over a couple hours then i decided to eat a greek yogurt which also has some more protein and then for dinner I was going to make a salad, as evidenced by what I started filming here. Um, I was going to do some some lettuce, some kale, and then I was going to do some grilled chicken strips that I had in the fridge, or I thought I had in the fridge. Turns out they were still frozen, so instead I just threw in a little bit of edamame and some dressing and hot sauce. And I ate just a little bit of that because I know I should eat some vegetables in my day. And what I decided to have instead was some leftover soup. It's basically like a chicken tortilla soup. I just threw some stuff in there. You know, you can Google any recipe for a chicken tortilla soup. And that was basically what I had. And then just before I came up to make this video, I had these like keto coconut cookie things, which are pretty good. They don't, they're not really, they're like slightly sweet but almost slightly salty and I like them. Five of them, five of them are 60 calories or something like that so it's a nice little snack when you're in the mood for something not necessarily. But yeah that's what I ate today. I don't really track calories or anything like that. I do try to be mindful of just my water intake and my protein intake and because I know that I had the um, the protein shakes which that alone was over 50 grams of protein in it um, with everything else, I'm pretty confident I got to the 80 to 100, especially with the edamame and then the soup, which had chicken and other stuff in it. I, I feel pretty good about it. I guess the one thing I'll end on is I really haven't felt motivated to cook as often. Um, like I've been doing a lot of just like pre-made things that you can get at Costco because you literally have everything. And a lot of it isn't necessarily always the healthiest and it's not something I want to be eating all the time but I just find myself gravitating towards those lately. It's mostly because I've been having a hard time just cooking for myself in a way, in a way that makes sense. I don't know how to explain, like, because if I'm gonna cook, I'm not gonna just make a little bit, but like I'll, you know, you cook to eat for now and for later or whatever else, but you know, I eat so little that it 
usually goes bad before I get to finish it all. And then I also get tired of eating the same thing. And then the other half is just laziness <laughs> or just being tired from long work days. You know, we all have lives. I'm not special here. We all we all have the same issues, I would imagine, or similar issues. But I think it's also I'm just excited to be trying so many different things that are out there. So I just try all these different things and then at some point I'll replicate them. That's pretty much it. I hope this was somewhat enjoyable to you, maybe entertaining, maybe informative. Again, I am not an expert in dietetics or nutrition. I'm gonna stop rambling. Subscribe for new videos every weekish, and I will see you next time. <laughs>